and signed to the same label as Lady Gaga, Selena Gomez, and Maroon 5. It's time to welcome Blackpink okay. to your anthem. You guys, Judge Ryan here. We're back again with episode five? Four? Five. Four? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> With our next episode of Turning Your Best Friend Into a Blink, today we are reacting to a beginner's guide to Blackpink. Okay. That way you can learn more about them and yeah, I, th I feel like once you learn more about an artist, you appreciate oh, yeah, them more, 100%. connect more. So yeah, let's get into it. We've enjoyed Blackpink so far. Yes, yeah. love. They're great. Okay, let's get into it. Here we go. Sue, Jenny, Lisa, and Rosé. Dang it! <laughs> I'm trying to look at the camera and say it. How do four girls living in four different countries with only nine songs to their name become the most viewed K-pop group of all time, perform at the largest American music festival, and sign to the same label as Lady Gaga, Selena Gomez, and Maroon 5? It's time to welcome Blackpink okay. to your area on today's Beginner's Guide to Blackpink. This K-pop... <laughs> also, this is like a year old by now. This was like probably right after the, their Coachella, yeah. which like March-ish. Um, so first of all, you saw Doo 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 has hit mm -hmm. 1.2 billion now. Okay. Also, you might hear, you might see some other songs. Okay. But I feel like it's just gonna get you more excited. Okay. Because you already saw some of the Kill This Love yeah. visuals. But yeah, okay. Blackpink has four members. Jisoo, Jimmy, Rose, and Lisa. They debuted in 2016 under the YG Entertainment Company. But all the cool kids just call it YG. Fans of Blackpink are called Blinks. All you have to do is squish together black and pink and you'll get the picture, I think. <laughs> From the very beginning, Blackpink's image has been edgy, cool, and forward thinking. <laughs> picture lots of rapping, lots of dancing, declarations of female power, and hair flips. Lots and lots of hair flips. So, let's meet the powerful ladies of Blackpink. Jisoo is the oldest member of Blackpink. She is also the only one born and raised in South Korea. Jisoo is one of Blackpink's lead vocalists. She's also the weirdest member. By far. <laughs> Jisoo has become well known for her gorgeous face and her childlike and friendly personality. She's one of the group's designated Visuals, which just means she's hot. <laughs> Jenny is the first member of Blackpink to go solo. So la 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 la. She was born in South Korea and grew up in New Zealand. Do you know why he said it's in New Zealand? Oh. Jenny's stone cold gaze and fierce rapping abilities quickly gave her the title of a diva. Though she would argue that she's no diva at all. Hi, <laughs> oh, Rose's smoky voice and hipster chic style makes her the indie darling of Blackpink. Think Bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls, but with the best Spotify playlist you've ever heard. Which I have never found. I can't find it, so I don't know what they're talking about. If you're singing along to the hook of any Blackpink song, you're most likely singing along with main vocalist Rose. Rose was born in New Zealand, but raised in Australia among the kangaroos. Good eye, Mike. Lisa is the youngest member of Blackpink. But you never guess it if you saw her on stage. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to do her like that. <laughs> just like acting 101. You never guess it if you saw her on stage. <laughs> her otherworldly dancing abilities have earned La Lisa international clout. <laughs> Fans all around the world are obsessed with this girl. Who is she? What is she doing? Oh my god, I love her. She's so cute. Plus, the way she can spit bars, it's like her and Jenny are a present day salt and pepper. Pig. What? Oh. <laughs> That's a pig. One, two, three. Lisa is from Thailand. In case you haven't caught on already, Blackpink is the revolution. Blackpink has over 20 million subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> Oprah doesn't even have that many. They're the highest earning <laughs> female K-pop act on the US Billboard charts. And they're going to Coachella in like a week. How do they do all of that with literally nine songs? Blackpink's rise to fame can be traced back to three main factors. First is their pre-debut hype. Before Blackpink became Blackpink, they were Jisoo, Jenny, Rose, and Lisa. Four young trainees under YG Entertainment. In K-pop, becoming a trainee is similar to signing a contract with a Hollywood studio. 
In both situations, you first pass an audition. Then, your company keeps you on retainer while you perfect your marketable skills like singing, dancing, public speaking, and twerking. <laughs> <laughs> then, if your company finds a good fit for you, they will debut you to the public as an artist or group. Back in the golden age of Hollywood, the biggest studios were MG, Paramount, Warner Bros. In modern day K-pop, however, the big entertainment companies are SM, JYP, and YG. They're also known as the Big Three. The Big Three! The Big Three! <laughs> A major reason for Blackpink's early popularity was the grand mythology of YG and his girl groups. YG's first big girl group was 2NE1. They were a majorly popular group that became known around the world. What's the name of the group again? It's 2NE1. Take a look. Seriously, who was gonna follow up that? Therefore, Blackpink was entering a sacred space by even debuting. The second reason for Blackpink's success is Teddy Park. The in-house producer at YG named Teddy Park has helped to create all of Blackpink's nine songs. Boom by our whistle, playing with fire, stay as if it's your last, do da 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 forever young, really, and see you later. As well as all of their new songs, Kill This Love, Don't Know What To Do, Kick It, and Hope Not. And let's not forget about Little Miss Jenny's solo. Having one lead producer helps give Blackpink's music a distinct color and vibe. You know it's a Blackpink song within the first five seconds of turning on the radio, or else they're not on the radio that day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> their music videos are also extremely high budget. Like, extremely. All of this order creates a Blackpink universe, kept vacuum sealed from the whims of other music styles and schedules that quickly turned these four trainees into untouchable icons. Finally, each member of Blackpink was handpicked and carefully balanced so that each one has a reason to shine. The small number of members and their distinct talents and personalities have given each one international first name recognition. This means that if I say Blackpink, chances are a fan will picture more than just a group. They'll picture individuals, moments, and movements. What makes this group so special is how these women and their fans buy into their own hype. Girl groups don't usually find the success that boy groups seem to have so easily. They face sexism, ageism, and the overwhelming pressure to measure up to a million different unrealistic standards. But Blackpink has broken the mold by recruiting a large fan base of mostly women. Women who want to see pop stars that have a voice and a vision, not just a pretty smile. So, why do we love these girls so much? I think the answer is clear. <laughs> so, what's all the hype about, right? Sis, I think it's in the pudding. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something about Blackpink. If you already knew a lot, please share this with someone who doesn't know that much about Blackpink because we want to introduce the world to our favorite girls. Oh yeah. That's their light stick. So it's like... I don't know. It's just like the fans take it and bring it to concerts. Is it like... No one's gonna understand this reference. Is it like taking a cowbell to a Texas football game? Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what's funny is like, you know how it's like kind of pink? Yeah. At first, the first time I saw it, I didn't think that was okay. a light stick. Did you think did, it was something else? Yes, yes. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I was like, why is he just playing with it? Yeah. Okay, I think that's it, but. So yeah, now you've learned a little bit about Blackpink and everything. And it's taught you a little bit of the process. Of yeah. Over there, it's like the training process is like really hard. Yeah. First of all, you have like no money. You literally are practicing on everything like 18 hours a day. Yeah. If not more. Did you ever watch... This is gonna, did you ever watch Making the Band? With okay. T. Diddy? Yes. With Danity Kane? Yes. Okay, for some what? reason, that's what I thought it was going to be like. What's the songs? Um, Showstopper. Show and, um... <laughs> there was one other one. I can't remember the uh, name of it off the top of my head. I have it in my playlist. I'm not even kidding you. But, I mean, like, that's just what I think about when I think of, like, girl groups, like, or just any groups in general, like, when they make them. Mm-hmm. Damage. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That one. Did, did I open up a memory for you? Yes. That is so funny. I never thought about that. That's just what I always think of when I think of girl groups. Like, yeah. making the band. Well, uh, well, from here in America, it's like uh, Fifth Harmony was on oh, X Factor. Yeah. Uh -huh. They were formed as a group. It's like way different over here. Yeah. So, but yeah. And then you see like more of their personality and stuff. So, oh. okay. 
Well, I think it's where they're not armed from Korea. I think. Oh, that's also something special about them. Yeah. Is yeah, um, like they're all Korean. Well, it's that Lisa. Lisa's Thai, but yeah, they're all Korean. Korean. But yeah, they did live other places. Okay. So like, but Lisa, she can speak Thai, Korean, some English, English Japanese, probably something else. She's a diverse. Oh yeah. It makes you feel dumb. Like oh, yeah, in America, sure. we learn nothing. No, I'm like my parents speak Spanish, and I yeah. literally don't understand it. Yeah. Well, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was cool to learn more about them, right? Yes. For okay. Sure. So the next one, we are going back to their debut, which they mentioned a little bit in 2016. Mm -hmm. Their first song, "Boom Bye Ya." Okay. It's a banger. You just wait. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to see that be sure to tune in for the next episode of turning your best friend into a blink i'm just ryan and i'm kiki thanks for watching see you in the next one we're in focus look at the camera all right what's up you guys okay i was trying to make sure i was recording <laughs> hold on you have something in your eyelash like that and um, yeah this one yeah on the inner corner. Yep, right there. You got it. I got it. I don't know what it was. Crusty. <laughs> like you said. Okay. See, I just did it. Did you hear my mouth? I do that all the time. Okay. You know what, Ryan? You're, I think, you always said you're scared to get addicted to gum. Oh, we need to turn this off. Oh, crap. Yeah. And I think it's because you know you'd be smacking. Oh, I know. Yeah. Oh, shit.